Hello everyone, Silent here, and welcome back to another truly bedrock live stream here on Twitch. How you doing, everybody? We had Kaz and Archangel being much, much too early. Jeez, uh, Liz and Fisher and Rabe, along with Beast and Chepabello, Spectre and Milk Dud on the diagonal, Ash and Stone, Raymond, Welsh, and we also got It's Enderman, Frost, Roddy, Unshift Mod. Welcome back. We got uh, May J, Blazin, Ninja or Ninja Ninja. I don't know how to say your name but hi welcome in uh we got max and doggo and violet as well gambit omega zim zimmies and g james charlie pyre curly perfect shot maxtermind gary poa and kaz again we got reflexian hello hello Juliana, welcome in brainless silly willy hill billy and uh lantern who else we got here that's about everybody isn't it zombie antonio hello Welcome in. We are going to be streaming on the Truly Bedrock server again tonight. And we're going to be upgrading and expanding our storage system. Because I'm on the wrong client. Right. 118. No, what? Oh, they updated, they updated the server. That's right. Yeah. Foxy updated to uh, 118.30. Okay. Let me, let me switch versions. I thought I was all prepared on the right Minecraft version. But no, I was not. Absolutely bamboozled by this <laughs> so many ads why is there ads there shouldn't be any ads we literally just started i've been talking for like two minutes jeez twitch what are you doing okay there we go now things are working now it just crashed never mind <laughs> ridiculous is the bot turned off again did it seriously get turned off? Does it? Why? I don't know. Stupid dumb things. Stupid dumb things. My resource packs are on. Of course. Everything gets, uh, everything gets broken. Now they are on. This one should hide the, uh, the paid servers, but apparently it doesn't. Now it hides it. Anyway, that's dumb. Let's log on the server already. You thought point three was, point three zero was broken? Uh, technically it is. That's why we're playing on three one. Yeah, that's my way to update. 118.31 is the actual version that we officially start playing on. Uh, so now we got Shulker Farms, and now I'm falling from the sky right as I log in. Always nice. Good times. I thought that might happen. I logged out there our end of yesterday's stream. And, uh, yeah, I thought I might fall when I logged in. <laughs> hey, Zap's online. Latest update is 118.31. Yes, that's, that's what I said, isn't it? 118.31. That's what we're playing. 118.30 is the one that's super broke. But they fixed, like, a lot of it in 118.31. Anyway. <clears throat> shulker, bar shulker farms are good to build now? Yeah, I think we can have... I think we already have a couple Shulker farms, like, built on the server right now. Uh, because that's just how how good Tiz, Tom, and Groova are. But yeah, 118.30, you can build a Shulker farm. So, if you've updated any time in the last week or two, then you can build a Shulker farm right now. I don't have zooms. Hold on. One moment, please. You can build a shulker farm right now. <laughs> Ridiculous. Anyway, so this side of the base is going to have a whole bunch of extra bulk storage all over it. And that's just kind of full of water. Oh, this is the bubble column. Okay, that's not too big of a deal. Stupid bubble column. I installed that for convenience, but it's turned out to not be too convenient. Typical. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm playing on 118.30, but the server's on 131. They're, they're cross-compatible. It doesn't matter. It's the, it's the same deal. Oh, is this one a sorted chest? Huh, I guess that makes sense. Right, okay. Well, let's, let's mess with this real quick, because apparently we need to. Uh, do I have stone? Wait. <laughs> I've tried, like, 20 times to get items to go all the way through this system. And every single time I try, they end up in a different chest that I didn't know was filtered. Jeez. Okay. I just want these four copper blocks to end up in the output chest. Is that so much to ask for? Just please end up over here. That's That should not be too much to ask for. Jeez. Hope today is a good stream. I think it will be. Uh, how are we doing on resources right now? We have not a ton of logs. 
Uh, we do have a lot of chests, though. That's good. That's that's the power of combining all of your storage into one area. So, solid. Good stuff. And how are we doing on redstone and iron? We have a fair amount of redstone. That's good. How are we doing on comparators? We got a few of those. Uh, we got lots of iron as well. Let's go check the iron farm, actually. Chunky. What's chunky? I'm not chunky. Are you chunky? Maybe Chunky's not so bad, after all. Iron Farm's cranking. How much time we spend in the area with this thing? This is great. I love that Iron Farm's actually, like, function now. It's such a game changer. Imagine Minecraft without Iron Farms. It'd be pain. A mining stream. No, thank you. I'd rather not. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do a mining stream. But, you know what? Not today, I don't think. Not today. I say. There's a lot of iron. I like it. Okay. Yeah, nine stacks of iron there. Sweet. Okay. And then we got a fair bit of string, too. One iron ore. Lots of ores. Now opening chest for a minute. You are very on your game tonight. <laughs> Found an infinite armor glitch. Uh, please don't share dupes in the chat. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to mine out a bit of this area. Uh, we do need to do a little bit of mining. Because we need sand and gravel for concrete. But that's not too big of a deal. Is that block lag? It's just a little bit of delay. They don't appear broken for like a second. Do you guys notice that? Yeah, it like takes an extra couple milliseconds for these things to break. Huh, okay. Well, whatever. I don't think that's too big of a deal. Are you late? Someone already banned opening chests. So yeah, you're you're late. Like someone's stealing your job, man. Someone is stealing your job. And making the stream painful for everybody. <laughs> also, didn't I just say this would be a mining stream and the first thing we do is start mining? That's great. <laughs> Why, yes. I am a liar. Oops. Uh, I cannot see what's happening. We're just gonna have, like... Uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and remove all this. Why not? I don't think there's any reason for this to be here anymore. I don't need, like, a random pocket of water just chilling out up there anymore. No, nobody needs that. Nobody wants that. That's bad. Dang it, I know, right? You're you're slow. You're slow, Salt. Uh, we got Ollie and Clado with the follows. Thank you so much. Hopefully you're doing well tonight. Uh, let me see. Let me make sure I actually got all the right things open tonight. Need to get my request queue open. Uh, thank you, Laser Llama, for that. Ban in action. Uh, we do need to do a couple naming items as well. I forgot to do these from the last stream. So let's just go ahead and get those, get those done real quick. Uh, that way we're not too far behind on anything. So we gotta name a poisonous potato better than beets. Or better than beetroot. Thank you, A27, for that one. And then we got another one from Sweetberry. I don't actually have a Sweetberry, Violet. Uh, we can go find one, I guess. And then we also need to give Candle. Uh, I don't have bees. So, those are the other two naming items that we have. I guess I can't do those right now. Okay. I guess that's why I haven't done them. Do I have a plan for where naming items will go? Right now, they're all going in this chest, but they're going to go over there later. Sweet berries are the red ones that you find in the, the taigas, right? <laughs> not the, uh, not the other ones. Because it's only those ones and blueberries. <laughs> beast trying to get in one not worse than be i put the knot in there just just so just so we're clear <laughs> thank you for that one i will not let you defame potatoes in that way sir ridiculous anyway 
So this side of the base, like to the left of our main bulk storage, is going to be for the extra, extra bulk storage. Of course, we're going to have like many, many, many farms in the base. So we're going to have them all go up a bubble column, probably in that corner of the base. And then they'll go up, be sorted. And then anything that doesn't get sorted will go off into the main storage system over here. Maybe into some of these bulk filters or something. And that'll be good over there. Uh, but we need to get in like maybe 20 or 30 different item filters i'm not sure how many we need but i do know that we're gonna have a lot of farms so every farm needs its own little slice and some farms produce multiple different item types so we're just gonna like overbuild because that's always the good way of doing things just overbuilding you know you cannot have too much storage it is clinically proven to be true scientific fact you cannot have too much storage How am I doing today? I'm doing well. How are you, Trevor Bello? Or Phil? Your name is confusing because you have two of them. I don't know what you want me to call you. Ah. Why are we spamming emotes? Mm, Twitch. I don't know. Just how it goes. Just how it goes. Uh, so we also need to figure out where the next batch of diagonal walls goes. We need to get those installed before we can figure out anything else. Things are coming up from the mob farms. Oh, I totally forgot that the mob farms are working, like, this whole time. Yeah, look at that. We have so much stuff from the mob farms. Wow, that's, like, amazing, guys. So much good stuff coming up from the mob farms. Right, let's get all of our building materials out. Definitely need more magenta glass. Definitely need more concrete. That's a fact. Oh, hi, we, we do have more of that. Okay. And we have one more concrete powder. That's that's helpful. I miss the days of having 20,000 concrete. I don't miss the days of having to place 20,000 concrete. This is a lot of concrete in the base. RP phone died while making coffee. R.I.P. Indeed. Right, so this should be lined up up here. Yes. And then we go diagonal. Boop, 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 boop. And then that's actually lined up right where it should be. Okay. Let me make sure we're doing this right because I messed this up uh, yesterday, you know? Silent 2. Silent 2 is not here. Silent 2 hasn't been on the server in a while. Every stream is a coffee stream. I feel you. I got mac and cheese today. <laughs> That's why the stream was late. Just because of mac and cheese. It cooked way slower than I thought it would. I was like, oh, okay. Now I'm 10 minutes late for stream. Okay, it actually goes the side by one. Hey, Weathercrafter, welcome back for 26 months. How you doing? It's good to see you again, sir. Mac and cheese. I know, right? Is there anything better than mac and cheese? That's a trick question. No. No, there is not. I do have a very important question for you, though. What's more important, the mac or the cheese? Answer carefully now. Uh, actually, this does go right here, and then that goes right there. Yeah, so that should be lined up with that one? Yes. My stream schedule is better than mac and cheese. Good answer. Wait, how is this supposed to be lined up? Hold on, I'm getting confused over here. Oh, I have it lined up wrong. Right, okay, okay, okay. Hey, Diagonal's gifting a sub to uh, Boolean. Thank you for that. Welcome into the community. How you doing? Because that's lined up with that one. This one is way too far off. It needs to be lined up with this right here. Okay. So I think it would be like that. I nearly did that entirely wrong. This is what happens when you make up arbitrary rules. They are hard to remember. That's why the legal system doesn't work. I mean, what? Hmm? 
The cheese is more important. The, the cheese is definitely more important. Cheese is definitely way more important than the Mac. Okay, so this one should be... Yes, okay, perfect. I'm so glad that this right here is lined up with that. If it wasn't, we were going to have some issues. Uh, but that's actually lined up perfectly. So, now we can take this on the diagonal. See see what I did there? <laughs> uh, Spectre's gifted a foot. Pad foot, hello! Or gifted a foot. Yeah, no, gifting a, <laughs> a sub to pad foot. Hello, pad foot. How you doing? Angry Italian noises. Happy American noises. There you go. Two can play that game. Right. Is that correct? I think that's correct. This side's lime. That side's magenta. Yeah, okay. Oh, and that actually lines up with that as well. Okay. Oh, let's put this back. This is actually a marker that I need there. Boop. Right, so we have this entire space right here to fill in with chess. Except that that's not lined up. Question mark? Why is it not lined up? That's important. Why is, why is it not lined up? Hold on. You. Straight line to here. Yep, that's correct. There's two and then one. And then you. Straight line to here. It's it's off by block. There we go. Now it lines up. Velveeta mac and cheese is the best kind. Ew. <laughs> Velveeta's not even cheese. It's like, it's like plastic. Plastic. Speaking of mac and cheese, I'm going to take a bite. And you're not going to listen to it because I'm kind enough to mute my mic. I'm not one of those streamers who eats into the microphone. You can thank me later. Unless you guys like that kind of thing. <laughs> 20, 21, 22, 20, 23. Okay. That's a fair amount of storage, actually. What? No, you need ASMR? No, thank you. I am not a mukbang channel. <laughs> Velveeta kind of looks like radioactive paint. It kind of is like... Uh... Yeah, no, just straight up kind of is. It's kind of uh, fluorescent. It gives off more light than you shine on it. It's like too shiny. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, perfect. Fantastic. Why is there snow inside my base? This has not been a mountain for quite some time. Do not approve of this. New YouTube silently eats. Nah. I don't eat enough to have a whole YouTube channel about eating. <laughs> For real. Sound like cooking a stream? I literally poured a box of mac and cheese into a pan of boiling water and waited like 15 minutes for it to cook. It was way too long. So slow. Did not anticipate it being so slow. I was like, okay, I need something quick to eat before stream. Got to stream in like 20 minutes. It took like way too long to cook. It's dumb. What can I say? That's overcooked. I mean, it was like hard before before then. I couldn't not cook it that much. Because it was not done. <laughs> you gotta cook it all the way. I mean, right? It's, it's like, it's not, yeah. Cheetos mac and cheese, good or no? I've never actually tried it. I have had recommendations to try it. Like, people tell me to try it, but I've never actually tried it. I mean, Cheetos' entire thing is cheese. I mean, Cheetos. But... I don't know. Just eat the crunchy mac and cheese and go... No! <laughs> I will not. Okay. Okay. So we kind of need to do some resource gathering. We got that part figured out anyway. I can just more like crunched up Doritos. Doritos are so good. Doritos. 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 Yeah, they're good. Uh, right. We need a lot of concrete. Do I has any gravel? I has technically 54 gravel. That's not enough. So... 
we should head off to somewhere who will give us a lot of gravel. Let's empty out all this stuff first, though. Yep. I feel like we have too much snow. And Withers gifting us up to Longhorn as well. Thank you so much. Show that love. How are you doing recently, Wither? I haven't seen you in a little while. With all the farms in the same chunks, won't I run into issues with villagers and linking? No, not really. We're not going to have a bunch of villager farms. We're going to have a ton of different variety of farms. Uh, we're going to have a very small collection of villager stuff. I think what we have now is probably all that we'll have. Like, the, the Iron Farm Treading Hall is probably what we're going to have. Ah, uh, the Morrigan! Thank you for subscribing with your Twitch Prime as well. Welcome in. How you doing? Th is that a Star Wars shuttle? I think it is. Ah, uh, we also got Gabes with the follow. Welcome in. And, uh, Leon Coxel. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, Wasson and Dogsay and Double. Thank you for the follows as well. Welcome in. This area is very, very nice looking. It looks too good. Stop building so... Is that die right? Never mind. Take it all back. Microcrop Farms Treading Hall. Uh, we, we have a treading hall at the top of the base. We don't... Yeah, we're going to have microcrop farms. We are going to have villager crop farms too. Hello, my old enemy. I'm here to buy many, many things from you. Again, this is like, this is, it's just a very good deal. Uh, it's one diamond for three stacks of glass. You literally can't go wrong with that. So, there you go. Four diamonds for you, good sir. And then, many, many more. Many, many more. I'll take all of this. Boop. Fantastic. Great deals. Save so much time. Uh, I'm Amor. Thank you so much for eight months of resubscribe, Rich. Ridiculous. Everybody's resubbing tonight. <laughs> You're currently just in the stream chat having a serious debate about which cheese is best. Okay, okay. Basically, all cheeses are the best. There is no best cheese because all cheeses are just very, very good. I think we can all agree on that. Okay, some cheeses aren't that great. Blue cheese, cottage cheese, you, you take them or leave them. There's some debate to be had there, but the rest of them, great. Cheese are good. You don't hate blue cheese? Yeah, I'm not really a fan of blue cheese. Or cottage cheese. They just kind of exist. Cheese on good pizza is good. Oops, there goes my pan of mac and cheese. Yeah, it's a pan. I didn't have time to put it in a bowl. <laughs> Saves dishes. Not to do as many dishes. Cause cheese goes great with chips, though. Maybe. Pan? Well, yeah, it's a pan of mac and cheese. It's a little pan. <laughs> it's got a handle on it. What bowl has a handle? Obviously, none. Classy. It's very classy. <laughs> Cheese. Cheese whip. Cool whip. <laughs> I completely forgot about the cool whip meme. Cool whip. <laughs> you guys know that one? Okay, we're looking for an area that has gravel. Is this gravel? I think this is a bit close to where people live, though. We're gonna go off to the raid farm area. Pan and mac and cheese reminds you of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Never seen it. But, it's, it's the best way to eat things. You don't have to put things into a bowl or a plate. You save dishes. It's got a handle. It keeps it warm longer. And, like... It's got a handle. And carry it around with it. Yeah, one pot meal. I, I I dirtied two dishes making my mac and cheese. The pan and a spoon. 
Yeah, the spoon that I cooked with is the one that I'm eating with. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, this is the area where we usually mine gravel. But I think all the gravel's gone. Cool whip meme. Yeah, it's from Family Guy. Uh, Stewie says, cool whip. And it, like, bothers everyone. Is this all stone? That's just stone. Here's gravel. Okay. Well, great. Fantastic. Yeah, we just need gravel for concrete, because of course we do. Stupid concrete, man. Bunch of pain. Honestly, while we're here, we may as well get a little bit of sand as well. We always need more sand. Uh, we're not going to have to craft any of the glass, because of course we just bought all that. So we're kind of good on that front. I did not bring a bed with me, uh, but we are close to the raid farm, so we should be good on that front. Because there's a bed over by that area. And otherwise, just here for a couple of these things. See you later, Breb. I'm starving. I'm drowning. Hey, while we're here, we can get another trident or something. <laughs> Next up, we're using feedback like a horse. <laughs> hey, you guys don't eat cereal right out of the bag? Come on. Stream. <laughs> Oh, a bag of granola? That's why they come in bags. You just eat them straight out. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. I'm not really a biggest fan of granola, but there's not a great selection of cereals at the store. So sometimes it's like all they have, I'm like, ugh, okay, fine. What can you do, right? Granola is better than no cereal, but it's it's not that much better. How's my day? My day's good. How you doing? Yogurt and is good. I should try that because I always get uh, yogurt. But I, I haven't really tried it with granola. I don't have looting. Yeah, I always get like a nice Greek yogurt or like a vanilla or honey flavor because they just taste so good. It's very good. Fantastic. You, you're saying no judgment too many times i feel like there's a lot of judgment <laughs> i feel like this is sarcastic no judgment <laughs> come on what kind of dumb habits do you guys have everybody's got a dumb habit or a weird thing they do granola and yogurt great i need to try it apparently the granola we get isn't that great though because it's not that much selection Strawberry yogurt is happy life. That is pretty good taste. I'm not gonna lie. I do like a good strawberry yogurt. The Tillamook yogurt? The strawberry Tillamook? That's very good, actually. I haven't gotten that recently. I need to get more of that. Grape nuts and yogurt's very good. We were just talking about grape nuts in the Discord. That's probably what you're referencing. I need to get more of that, too. I haven't had that in forever. Right, is this area a void of gravel granola? <laughs> granola kind of is like eating gravel. It's just like, mmm, delicious. Crunch, crunch. <laughs> oh, Jane, toothpaste. Yeah, you know, that's always good. Maple and lime yogurts. Lime. I haven't actually had that before, I don't think. Oh, no, maybe I have. It was a very long time ago. Maple is good. Maple is good. The uh, the brown cow yogurt. Maple flavor, that's pretty good. Give me back my gravel. Thank you. It's my gravel. Porridge and honey? I don't know if that's good or if you're just being weird. No comment. <laughs> I don't even know that gravel's crunchy. Uh, uh, no, no comment. Cannot say. It might be more convenient if we had like a mountain nearby, like a nice gravelly mountain, but they're kind of hard to find nowadays. 
kind of hard to find indeed. Okay, where is our shocker boxes at? Over here. Nice moves. Look at that, he's breaking a move. Oh man, showing me up. Man, I just got served. <laughs> I can't serve him back because then we got to go have like a, a whole tournament arena thing. Just got to take it. Dang, he's breakdancing. I know, man. He's got moves. <laughs> the dolphin spin. Is that the name of the move? Man, that's that's pretty epic. He's, he's, he really knows what he's doing. Very impressive. Right, let's get some sand. Some snad. Uh, we gotta go take a nap first, though. Actually, I'm not gonna load the raid farm chunks because I'm not sure if that's broken or not in this update. Ever use potions? Not really. Potions are good, but they're so niche. If you got, like, decent armor, then you really don't need them. Hey, Mel. Welcome in. This poor bat. It just gets left out here in the rain. <laughs> Is that a trident? Oh, no. It's just a stupid axe. Man. For a split second, it looked like a trident. This has got silk touch on. Is that going to harvest that? <gasps> it does. Nice. No reason to kill dead bushes if you don't need to. I wonder what potions would taste like. What do you think a fire resistance potion would taste like? Because you put some weird stuff in those. Like, what even is glowstone dust? Some sort of mineral? I don't know. Putting spider eyes and fermented spider eyes? Nasty. What do you think mama cream tastes like? A golden carrot? That's probably not too bad. That's probably the... Well, it was also glistening melon. Those aren't too bad either, probably. Just gold-coated food. I think that's the thing that actual people eat in real life. Just because, like... They literally want to poop gold. <laughs> Rich people problems, right? Push to have no taste. Because they would just overwhelm you. taste what's the weirded potion a rabbit foot potion that probably doesn't taste too great fire resistance would probably be like uh one of those spicy like uh candies you know like the little red ball candies oh, fireball Rabbits are tasty. I'm you know, a poor little rabbit, though. Turtle master? Mmm, turtle. Turtle shell, specifically. <laughs> Lots of them. And cinnamon? Yeah, the little cinnamon ball things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Those things are so good. Man, I haven't had those in forever. What happened to keeping 1111 levels? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> what are you talking about? I have 1111 levels. You can't tell. What, what you talking about? Oh, look at this. This guy's got a trident. Come here, dude. Give me that trident. My trident. Oh. What would silverfish taste like? I mean, they're just a gross little bug, so. Probably not too much. Crunchy? Probably better than gravel. Probably better than granola. Uh, we got Malaman with the follow and Doomwalker. Thank you for the 100 biddies. Uh, why was my breakfast on the news this morning? Because it was a serial killer? That's great. <laughs> Terrible. I love it. Uh, we also got, my name is Taken YouTube. Thank you for the follow as well. Welcome in. And any other follows? I think that's about all of the things. So fish do actually exist? Yeah, they're just gross little bugs. Too many legs. You guys seen a silver fish? They got like a bajillion legs, man. They look like centipedes, but nastier. It's like centipedes' ugly cousin. There's too many legs. Okay, that's probably enough sand, to be fair. I don't think we need, like, a ton, a ton. 
Yeah, that's more sand than gravel. So we should go find a good place to get gravel. Maybe we, like, fly around and try and find a mountain or something? I don't know. Regular mountain biomes are kind of hard to find. That's why I usually just go to the bottom of the ocean. Maybe we can just find, like, a bigger, flatter ocean or something. Yeah, at least centipedes are actual predators. They eat other things, right? Is this a gravel ocean? No, this is a sand ocean. That's a gravel ocean. Oh, check out this cave. That's pretty cool. Hey, glory boys. I actually do need some of this. Here, glory boys. I will show you the world. I should build a glow squid farm in the base. That's what I should do. Because they spawn really quick. Look at this. Amazing. We're a bit high up for diamonds, aren't we? Well, no, we're kind of at 20. We might find a couple diamonds. Maybe. Also, I was definitely here for gravel. I do, I do know that. But now I'm kind of here to drown, so. Priorities. Gravel, isn't that what Zloy's for? Well, Zloy's kind of preoccupied. With, you know, stuff. Okay, uh, let's get back to the surface. This is a great spot for glow squid hunting. It's very important that I punch that guy in the face. doesn't look like storage well we need we need the resources to build the storage is the thing we kind of ran out of the resources we got to go chop some trees as well i think and then we probably got to go buy some comparators too you'll see it'll all make sense in due time yeah this is a pretty good spot for gravel nice big flat ocean that likes to kill you uh when getting gravel from Piglins be more efficient? I mean, maybe if you had like a thousand gold and a bunch of time, access to the nether, Piglins, storage system, sorting system, infrastructure, gold, gold farm. Yeah, probably. What's the gravel for? We need it for concrete. Always more concrete. Can never have too much concrete. You can need too much concrete, but you can never have too much of it. Okay. I think that's about all we should need. Probably. Lots of gravel at Deep Slate Level 2. That's actually fair. There is a fair amount of gravel in the world now. It's pretty easy to see down at Deep Slate because it's so obvious. Why would I throw it on the ground to despawn? Just plant the little dead bushes. You guys don't like planting dead bushes. <laughs> Mining deep slate sucks. Yes, it does. You you would want to find a good cave for it, I guess. That's probably what you want to do. A big open cave. Shoot the gravel. Make it fall down. Go mine it. It seems like that would take longer, though. Ideally, you just find a nice gravel mountain. That would that would be fastest. But again, mountains kind of hard to find sometimes ocean is like second best way of getting it
mac and cheese is good. Anyway, um, yeah, it was, it's a long flight back to the base. Nothing else to do besides eat mac a and cheese. <laughs> Basically, that is definitely spoilers. First best way, steal from Zloy. That's that's true as well. First best way. Welcome in, Funky Thumb. Glad you can make it to a stream. Do, 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 do. Here we go, finally. It's a long flight. It'll be even longer if we try to find like proper mountain. Okay, let's get it done, shall we? Oh, do we need to convert some concrete? I think we do. Ah, man, it's always something. I swear, always something. Let's see, we got a few of those that can go in there. Okay, well, at least we got the glass that we need. Uh, let's turn this into concrete directly. Not even mess around with it. Boop. Uh, we're definitely going to make more than that. Can I get a little bit more? Okay, that should probably be fine for at least a bit. At least a bit. We can uh, we can store this away in here. Oh man, I wish we had the Java inventory controls. You could just like double click on these and they would all get put in there. That'd be so convenient. That'd be great. Name cobblestone smooth stone. No. <laughs> I can do that. I got a cobblestone up here. I think we've had that one before, haven't we? Previous season or something? We've definitely had a smooth stone one at some point. Maybe it was even this season. It's hard to remember sometimes. It's been a lot of naming items. Oh, do you guys remember when we had like an entire chest of uh, Rickroll lyrics? Last uh, season two? That was great. Literally just like 80 items that were all Rickroll names and there are puns as well oh that was good if you're ever on the season two down the look in the chunk tower you'll see like a whole double chest in the storage room it's gonna have a lot of rick rolls in it it's good i think i showed it in the the final episode very quickly you have to got to be eagle eyed to catch it smooth stone thank you for that one jurassic invader I convert it smash the walls when I'm done. Uh, I'm thinking we gotta convert at least a little bit of this concrete. And then the rest of it we can wet a fi when it is placed down. Not that one. This one. There we go. Also, I need more rockets. I need more ender chests down there, too. I need a tower just for named items. <laughs> we probably could stack up named items to world height. I don't think that would be an issue for us to achieve. Best was never going to give you up. Yep. Hey, Goofy Goober! Welcome in. Who's a goofy goober? I'm a goofy goober. <laughs> this is a good episode. <laughs> nether gonna yeah, nether. There's so many named items in that tower. There were so many. That was a great season for named items. I think, it, I think it was cheaper back then. I think we allowed more per stream. I should probably start allowing more per stream nowadays. Uh, because why not, right? They're, they're pretty easy to do. As long as you guys are requesting items that we actually have, then we can do them. We can do them pretty easily. Hey, Puka. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the Prime. Subscribe, Bridge. Much appreciated. Am I dropping three at once? I'm spam placing. Because auto clickers are great. If you don't have an auto clicker, 
I would highly recommend that you get one because they are so nice. They will save your fingers. They'll make it so you don't get arthritis or carpal tunnel. They'll make it so that you can play longer and they'll make it so you play faster. It's just great. Highly recommend. There's nothing bad about it. Just don't use them to cheat on servers or whatever. Cries in mainly console player. Yeah. You can get like one of those fancy uh, controllers with like the trigger button. The rapid fire buttons. Or you can just use a keyboard and mouse on your console. Consoles support that nowadays. Am I going to make a warden farm? Yeah. <laughs> they dropped something now. I'm a thousand percent making a warden farm. Uh, it's probably going to be a short. Probably do that for tomorrow's short. Typically vanilla, no add-ons in any kind. An auto clicker isn't an add-on though. It's just something that you do to your mouse or your controller. Or on your device. It's not shady, it just saves you time. Would highly recommend. Don't mess around with your hands. You only got the two. Uh, let's see. Okay, that should be enough for a little while. We definitely need to repair some tools, though. That would be highly recommended. You got four hands? Hmm. No right-clicking? Whoa, that's uh, good timing there. <laughs> right, then. No right-clicking. That's going to be interesting. Uh, well, I guess we can uh, plan out what we're doing with this. I think we need to mine all this out anyway. So let's just get this mined out a few more blocks higher. I don't know how tall the ceiling needs to be, so... We need to mine out enough room for all the storage, all the item filters, a little bit of extra room. Probably going back to roughly here. And then that should be about as high up as we can reach as well. What's the roof layer of this? It's at this layer? Okay. So it's one lower than what we can reach. I don't see the point in that, but okay, whatever. I'm not going to argue with past me. Past me has some things figured out. Future me doesn't know what he's doing, but uh, past me is doing good. Hey, D's, welcome in. There we go. Now we can right click. You got 99 problems with hands, ain't one? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, first first lesson of gaming or comfort or really just like entertainment at all. Make sure you are like 100% comfortable at all times. Because you're going to be like sitting there for probably quite a while. So you got to make sure that you're like completely comfortable. Good posture. Good position sitting. Good hand. Like location. Make sure your wrists aren't bent. Because if they are, then that's not good. Very important. Otherwise, you'll start to notice it after a while, especially if you are full-time lazy or full-time on the internet. <laughs> That's a sneaky tool break. Remote play and having a controller macro. Uh, yeah, that's kind of smart, though. Remote play is kind of interesting for PlayStation. There's a lot of clever things that you can do with that. Because you can, like, join from your phone, right? And then you can actually download autoclickers on your phone. And then I think that would, that would probably do it. Oh, maybe that's how you can use fish farms on PlayStation. If that's how remote play works. That would be really clever, actually. Use an autoclicker on your phone to... <laughs> <laughs> to AFK fish on your console. That'd be so dumb. Be very dumb. I highly recommend. Use PS Remote Play, but we're going to an auto clicker. Hmm. Maybe we just need a different auto clicker. Okay. So that is looking like about everything that we probably need to mind out. So chess, hopper, comparator, redstone, redstone. We should mine out one more block. 
Because we have a bit of space, you know? Never hurts to have more space than you think you might need. Auto clickers on mobile aren't great. Yeah, they're a bit, they're a bit mad, but it's better than nothing, right? I do, I do. It'd be nice if we had like proper, uh, proper AFK fish farms on Bedrock where you don't need an auto clicker. That'd be so nice. Right, let's get some torches and stuff. <laughs> How's the torch situation? Not great. Should probably make a bunch of those. How's the output chest? Hey, all the things finally came into the output chest. Bell time. Okay. Jeez. We had to test this thing like 20 or 30 different times to finally get items from the input chest to end up all the way in the output chest. They kept ending up in random chests throughout here that didn't have a filler item. Like this one I needed to fill up with junk and this one needed filler junk items and all kinds of stuff like that. But finally, we have confirmed that the storage system 1012% actually works. It took way too much effort and way too many trial and errors, but uh, yeah, items finally end up in the output chest. You would think I would confirm this first before laying out all the items, but no, I, I have my priorities clearly very backwards. Go me farm to sort out the tree farm? Yeah! Connect a moss farm to uh, your tree farm. Great thing to do. And hey, what's up, boys? Thank you for the the, uh, the biddies as well. I'm doing well. Uh, we also got Minecraft Tyler with the follow. Welcome in. And foil. Pelican and Deez, along with Goofy Goober with a follow, uh, Fry Guy, and Puka as well. Thank you for the support, everybody. Okay, uh, let's get some chests and stuff made. Now it's time that we actually start on the storage. I know, I know, it's been a while. Take all this. Oh, right, we need to go buy comparators. Or no, we don't actually, because we are going to be building 23 sorters. We actually have just enough. Perfect. That should be good. Uh, we'll make some redstone torches. We need to make some pistons as well. I'm definitely going to have to go chop trees looking at this. Said I have plenty of chests. I do have a lot of chests. I don't have enough logs for everything, I don't think. Oops. Yeah, I don't have enough logs. Right, what else do we need? Uh, just raw iron, right? Let's see. You and your creeper sounds? Jeez. What am I missing here? Oh, planks, right. Okay. That'll do it. We need like 20 something of these. 23, I think, was the number. There we go. Brilliant. And then the rest of this we can use for the other things. How many hoppers do we have? 11. Right. Let's just leave those ones in there then. We'll make a whole bunch more. Sixty-four. That's not going to be enough. Yeah, we got to go chop some trees, I believe. Can I have some of the mac and cheese? It's cold. Are you sure you want some? <laughs> Sharing is caring. Lumberjack stream. Maybe a little bit. Not ideal, but maybe a little bit of uh, lumberjack stream. Really, full chest of stone up there. That's great. Uh, Keegan, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome in. Are we good here? We need glass as well. And then we need some blocks to build with. Okay. 
Uh, that might be enough. We also need, like, an obsidian, and I think we have obsidian in one of these chests. Yeah. I don't know where to put obsidian. Right, what's next? We got hoppers, we got chest comparators, and all that good stuff. We actually do need some of the, uh, building materials. So, sea lanterns and glass. Just so that we can make this thing look kind of fancy. Not, like, too, too fancy, but kind of fancy. We're out of sea lanterns. Okay. We gotta go buy sea lanterns. Ah, there's always something. Uh, Anthrax, welcome in. Thank you for two months of prime subbage. Cold mac and cheese is still good? Yes, it is. Glad you enjoy the streams and whatnot. Anthrax. Alright, let's see. Oh, the chest needs to be a block back, and then we have... Two? Okay. Yeah, we need a lot more scene lanterns. Oh my. <laughs> but I'm sitting with a magma? Yeah, maybe. Okay, so chest goes here. And then we're gonna have... That like that, and then... Like, is it really like that? Oh, no, it's just concrete back behind it. Okay. It's not like that on this side. Oh, whatever. Inconsistencies! I think I'd rather use the concrete. I have more of that than sea lanterns right now. Don't point at the inconsistencies. It makes it feel... feel bad. This pickaxe is so about to break. <laughs> Am I get my cords up on screen? It's just game rules, show cord, and it's true. You can do it in survival. Uh, right. Well, let's go buy some sea lanterns. I probably need to buy a whole other box. And then I guess we'll have to chop some trees as well. Jeez. Not really my preferred thing to do, but, uh, whatever. Do I have diamonds? I got diamonds. Okay. I got ender chest? I got ender chest. Okay. Off to run some more errands. Medieval's better. Medieval's good. It's a bit overdone, but it's good. It does look very nice. I mean, look at that. Yeah, you can mine faster if you're further away from the block. It doesn't matter for uh, insta-mineable things, though. It does help with, like, deep slate and obsidian and stuff like that, though. Very helpful. Very helpful, indeed. Okay, uh, DB's is over here. He's got the Guardian farm this season. Foxy also has one, but I don't know where his is. <laughs> okay, we can do that, uh, Aatrox. <laughs> That's great. Pick my nose. <laughs> uh, let's see. <gasps> oh no! Am I allowed to craft some? You can't open these? Okay. It's got so many fish. Am I allowed to craft some? I think probably, right? Because I'm going to buy it. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's five to one, isn't it? Uh, he's he's definitely got a lot. Jeez, he's got a lot. One, two, three, four. Is there a crafting table around here somewhere? What kind of storage system doesn't have a crafting table? Is it up top or something? Is it inside? <laughs> What's up with all these chests not being openable? <laughs> uh, right. Don't want to go down there. Uh, I suppose... I don't have logs on me? Okay. Put that on a crafting table. Uh, do we use a third party server hosting server? Uh, yes, we have, we use Nodecraft for hosting True the Bedrock. Uh, there's actually a link to Nodecraft in the chat. 
Yeah, Notecraft's actually pretty great. We host all of our fan servers on them now. We uh, moved Truly Bedrock over to it. It is very solid, very reliable. We've been having a great time with them. Five crystals and four shards, isn't it? Apparently, yeah, I forgot. Five to four, yeah. Weird recipe. It requires so much of it, too. Just give me this whole thing. I think he's overflowing. I wonder if he has, like, a trash can or something. Or if it's just despawning. Boop. Boop. There we go. Uh, it is one for two stacks. So, let's get another stack and a half of this. Hasn't connected the farm to his base yet. Well, something's getting a lot of, uh, a lot of guardian drops. <laughs> Probably the worst place to put the crafting table. Okay, we are going to take all of that. And then I'll just put these into there. And then I guess I'll put the rest of these back. Is that fish farm loot? That looks like fish farm loot. <laughs> Using Apex. I did look at Apex. Uh, when I was looking around for server hosts. Oh, I didn't pay the man. Uh, but I chose to go with Nodecraft. Because they seemed like they were better. Actually, Foxy used to be of Apex. And then he moved to Nodecraft. So there's that too. I don't know. Nodecraft is very good though. I like him. Uh, we got Elliot and Creve with the follows. Thank you so much. Welcome in. Wait, a impact or bisect? Well, I'm getting confused. Uh, Foxy was with bisect before, and then he moved to Node. I'm not sure if I know anyone that's been with Apex, but they're probably probably fine, I guess. With Nodecraft, you can actually play like a bunch of different games. It's not just Minecraft. They got like 30 different games, and you can swap between them anytime you want. They got like Terraria and a whole bunch of different things. It's all on the website. It's pretty cool. You can also uh, get chat logs and stuff for Bedrock servers, so that's kind of cool. They definitely got this stuff figured out. Right, do we need to go chop trees? We need to go chop trees. Right, let's go chop trees. How much wood, wood, wood chop, chop, of wood chop, could chop wood? As much wood as wood chop, wood chop, wood chop, could chop wood. Uh, let's see, bunch of you. And then a bunch of you. And maybe you. Spruce, of course. Yeah, of course. I'm literally the best log. I didn't bring an axe with me. Did I leave my ender chest somewhere? I think I might have left that at DB's. Unless I just placed it down. No, I just placed it down. Why did I place it down? There's literally an ender chest right there. Ridiculous. Ridiculous! Yeah, so we probably need like eight stacks of logs to get all the hoppers and stuff that we need. ETM, player list is Zalia farm the base. Oh yeah, that'd be a good thing to get. I kind of forgot about that. That would definitely be a good thing to get. Get going. Uh, I'm not sure. It's probably going to be a couple weeks. We got to do a couple other farms first. We need to get this storage system set up and fully up and running and stuff. And then we need to get some village crop farms going so we can smelt down potatoes again and have more food. I didn't plant a tree. And then there's a couple other things that we got to do before we can move on to the extraneous farms. 
Am I about to die? I got feather falling on, right? Jeez. I'm not falling that far. I have like a protection four, protection four, protection four. Oh, they changed protection in this update. That's right. Oof. I'm, yeah, okay. Ah, huh. yeah, you take a lot more damage now. Rips. Yeah, typically I'll take like three hearts from all that. <laughs> Instead of seven. A lot. What's the protection? Uh, they nerfed it and then they buffed it. There's a lot of changes to damage. And uh, the way it's dealt and the way it's handled in this update. Lots of combat parity. I made a couple bug rocks on it if you want to see more details. See you later. What's up, boys? Have a good one. We also got Sir with the follow. Welcome in. Uno. Uno or oh no? Oh no. Okay. Oops, that's a tree. Yeah, I don't think they changed it so that uh, food does the proper amount of saturation regeneration either. Would have been good. I, I do still want to make a 2x2 two two spruce tree farm tutorial. I think that would be pretty epic. Because it would just be so many logs. It would just be like a bajillion logs. You would need so many resources to build it though. Like you would need to farm... A couple dozen spruce trees just to have enough things for the pistons. <laughs> Be so many pistons. Because these trees are so tall. If you want to make a cube maker for this. And you'd probably need four cube makers. It'd be so big. It'd be such a giant farm. But uh, it, it would be pretty epic. I think it would be really easy too. Because there's like no branches at all. To deal with. It's just like a 40 block tall tree farm. So you just need to figure out the redstone lines and stuff. Which also isn't that big of a deal. Because you can just use uh, vertical piston pushers I guess. A few of those. I think would work. And then observers in there and stuff. Getting the double piston extenders to work might be kind of a pain. But maybe not even. I think, I think it might be really easy. Maybe that's what we do for the next technical Tuesday. What do you guys think about that? Next live stream, we would design a spruce tree farm. A mega farm. It really is. A, it would be a mega farm. Because, like, there's no point in limiting the size of the spruce tree. It's just a mega farm. <laughs> just stand there, place down your saplings, and boom, 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 boom 10,000 pistons activate. Probably the loudest farm I've ever made. Now, that's something I'm excited for. Breaking records. Make it louder than the gas farm. <laughs> a jungle tree farm. Those sound like a little bit more pain because you have to worry about the branches. Jungle tree branches are annoying. Uh, but I guess if you made it activate twice, twice per, then it would probably be fine. Can jungle trees go diagonal with the logs? I don't think they can. Also, spruce trees would be really easy because uh, they give such good sapling return rates. So you don't even need to break like a ton of leaves. It's just straight up, straight up easy. It's a massive farm though. So I have, okay, I still got 27 saplings. I haven't really broken that many leaves, but I would like to get a... A bonus amount of saplings. These leaves went further down than the tree grew. That's weird. I guess that's kind of normal. Because these trees do have like low hanging branches. Anyway. Wanted to work for oak trees too. Uh, that big of a farm. Is a little bit overkill for oak trees. Just, just saying. Okay, it's been over an hour. We really need to build some storage system. <laughs> we 
Yeah, there we go. Lots of logs. I always want to put bone meal on that one. Maybe we should switch where flowers and dye go. Give me a stack of iron blocks. Boop. 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 Stack of hoppers. 51 more hoppers. There we go. Okay. We'll take all of this. Put those in the there because I don't need them right now. Do I know a working raid farm? My raid farm V6 is working. The most recent one on the channel, anyway. Uh, you know what? All these planks, we should just turn these into chests, I suppose. Do I not have room for these? I don't think I need one birch plank, do I? Probably not. Goodbye, birch! Probably could have turned you into a stick, but goodbye! And, well, there I go after it. <laughs> You're actually working on azalea wood? Wait, what? Uh, I do have an azalea tree farm. It works for all of the standard one wide trees except uh, acacia. My azalea tree farm works for everything but acacia. And then my other tree farm works for everything but azalea. Well, I think it might work for Azalea, but you gotta swap out the block in the middle. And, like... Stuff like that. Okay, so a bunch of resource gathering later. This is where the storage system is gonna go. It's gonna be 23 chests wide, which is about as wide as we can have it with it being uh, lined up with the rest of the base and symmetrical everywhere. So, essentially, we're gonna have just a huge line of chests going this way. We had to chop down every spruce tree on the planet for this. So I hope it'll be worth it. And then I don't know how tall we actually want to make this. Probably two or three layers? Where's on my chest? Why can't they pick block? Anyway. So I guess we could make this three layers tall and have it be perfectly fine for most of the farms. I don't feel like we need four chests for every single farm. That seems a bit overkill. Three looks... Three looks about the right height. Let me get that all filled in. And then we'll uh, kind of compare that to, like, the roof layer. Because the roof layer is going to be going right here. We'll see how it looks, I guess. Mojang oh, is Mojang going to actually make Azalea wood? Oh, I see. Uh, I don't think so. If they were going to do that, they would have already done it. Same with the mangrove. I mean, it, it takes a lot of work to add a new wood. You gotta add slabs and stairs and fences and fence gates and boats and trapdoors and uh, buttons and slabs and, you know, everything. Pressure plates. A lot of work. It's like 26 new items just per wood, wood, per wood type. Signs. A lot of stuff. This is gonna be so many hoppers. There we go. That looks about right. Uh, I don't have any of the magenta glass on me right now. But this is where it would go if I did. Basically just like that, I think. It would be cool if we had different chests for every type of wood. That would be pretty nice. I think we're kind of overdue for that, and I imagine someday that will happen. It uh, it only makes sense, you know? I think, it, I think it's only a matter of time. Mojang is kind of taking this year easy, I feel. And, like, rightly so, of course. 
because uh, the last couple of years have just been crazy for Mojang. With uh, 117 and then 118 and all the issues that came along with that. Splitting the updates. And then having to deal with uh, COVID and working from home and stuff. It's just been kind of crazy. Been crazy for everyone, admittedly. But uh, yeah, I think they're just kind of taking it easy with 119. Just delivering on the final bits of what they originally wanted to be in 117. <laughs> Remember how that was supposed to go? And then, uh, yeah, just kind of just kind of wrapping up the deep dark and stuff. That's a block lower than it should be. Yeah, that's four instead of five. One twenty, the chest update. Mm-hmm. Uh, Blackout and Raven and Wilbert along with Whipfire, Cartoon Discord, and Zebit. Thank you for the follows, everybody. Welcome to the community. Hopefully you're doing well tonight. Also, thank you everyone for tuning into the stream tonight. We got like 260 people here. You're crazy. Hopefully you're doing great. Do we know when the wild update's coming out yet? Nope. But I would think that it's going to be pretty soon. It seems like they're wrapping up development, basically. Seems like it's uh, nearly... Nearly done. I don't think we're going to get too many more features. Seems like they're really just polishing stuff at this point. Getting in the last little bit of things, like the music disc and, you know, recovery compass and whatever else little things they can think of. They removed the goat horn or the copper goat, ho goat horn. I could just leave that open, jeez. Gotta go back there seven more times. Is there a flying machine that could move a whole wood block from the tree farm? Uh, not unless you want it to be a huge flying machine. Because that's push limit, you know? You need a whole wall of pistons. Basically, you need to turn that whole wall of pistons into a flying machine. And then power every single one of those, so they would all need observers behind them. And then you would need, like, lines of slime and honey going vertical. So, honey, slime, honey, slime. And then you need to push all that with a horizontal beam behind it. It would be a big flying machine, but I guess you could do it. There's nothing stopping you. It would just be big. Uh, right, I'm looking for this right here. So, sea lantern, glass, and then stair. Let's get some stairs. Stairs. Uh, right. What mouse and keyboard do I have? Uh, just some red dragon ones or red dragon, whatever uh, the brand is called. They're they're cheap, but they they work. They're good. I'm actually been thinking about getting a better one. Maybe like a razor mouse or something. The keyboard that I have is just like a tiny little membrane one. It costs like $25. But I've had it since like 2017 and it's great. And it's so quiet. You never hear me typing. It's fantastic. That's why I don't have like one of those gamer clickety clackety keyboards. Because it's like, oh, that's such an annoying thing to have to deal with. Click, clack, click, clack, click, clack. Can't deal with it. RTX isn't on console now. It should be, but it's not. Does my PC allow ray tracing? Absolutely not. What do you think I am? Some fancy YouTuber with, like, a fancy graphics card? Nah, man. <laughs> no ray tracing over here. Definitely, definitely not. Nope. Satisfying sound. Yeah, people like it because it's satisfying. Clickety-clackety. But I kind of I kinda get that. But also, like, it's just not made for my pr profession at all. Right, so we kind of need that to be a block higher, maybe. Just how we're going to, like, blend that with the edges there. Unless we have, like, a layer of concrete right here? Is that where the ceiling layer goes? No, wait, hold on. Ceiling layer goes above above that. Do I do PvP? Not all the time, but I do enjoy PvP. Yeah, so now that I've actually placed in the three layers of chests and we got like the lighting above them, it's definitely a block short. It needs to go a block higher just to meet up with the ceiling. 
because ceiling is this layer right here. So I got to tear all that out and then put in another layer of chests. Great. Glad I figured that out after I built it all. Power of hindsight. It's a great skill to have. Would highly recommend. Imagine breaking this pickaxe on mining glass. Hello, swing. Welcome in. Okay. Uh, do I have more chests? Three of them. Fantastic. <laughs> Why did I name myself Silent Whisper? I just thought it sounded cool. <laughs> No other reason. It was like 2015. I was like, I need a gamer tag. And uh, that's what popped to mind after like three seconds of thinking. And here we are. I got my own website. <laughs> By the way, I have a new website. SilentWhisperer.com. It's got all of our fan server information. It's got downloads on it for all my farms and stuff. Uh, it's got basically all the information about the community that you might want to know, so check it out. You might you might learn something. Any more chests? See, it's a good thing we, we mined all those trees. Because uh, we really need a lot of chests. I got no more. Let's just make another stack of this, shall we? I never have too many chests. Do I ever do Java or just Bedrock? We do Java sometimes. Uh, like, we did all the Clash of the Creators. Well, we did, like, seven of them, I think. All the ones that I, I could, anyway. And then we did, uh, we did some bingo and stuff. Java's good. We just mostly play play Bedrock. Regan, thank you for three months of Prime subscriberage. How you doing? Meow. <laughs> Is that your cat saying hi? Or are you just a cat? I need to know. Very dark back here. Do I have torches? I do. These torches are not helping nearly as much as I thought they would. Come on, guys. Place the hopper sideways. I guess I did. Thank you. Uh, Lucky, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Do I have stairs? I do have stairs. Yeah, see, that looks a lot nicer. That's looking pretty solid. And then the concrete goes right here. Boop. All the way across. There we go. That looks a whole lot more nice and clean, doesn't it? A whole wall of chests. And then we got to have some uh, some item frames on here, I suppose. And now I just need to like actually get the item filters in the backside set up. So, lots of redstone. Bam. Right between these four blocks. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't lying when I said we were going to make a storage system. It just took a long time to get it going. Because <laughs> uh, I'm slow. We got new music tonight. Did you guys notice? Oh man, we need to go another block further. Rest down on stream. Uh, don't worry, we're not gonna mess it up. Twice, only once. Hahaha. <laughs> 
Any tips for draining an ocean monument? Lots of sponges. You gotta do squares. Five by five squares of sand. Go on top to bottom, then sponge it. Yeah, it's pain. A lot of pain. Basically. Okay, so that's gonna be that, and then... Actually, no, that one needs to be glass. And then that one is there, and then we need a piston. Redstone torch goes on the back side of that. I don't have one. I don't have any wood on me either. Okay, fine, we'll get some of those. Make a stack. Basically, anytime you need a redstone component, just make a stack of it. Just make a whole stack. You can never go wrong with making a stack. I think I have a stack of sticks, don't I? I do. Is that everything? We definitely need more redstone powder. Or dust. And I think we're good on hoppers and all that good stuff. Great. Let's get her done. Silentwhisperer.com. Yep, that is the website. I think there's also a command for it. I'm not sure how we're going to do the input line to this. So we need to bring up items from the actual, like... You know, bottom of the base. All the different farms and stuff. We're probably going to have, like, a multitude of different uh, item transport lines and bubble columns and stuff. That's probably going to have to go on, like, this wall back here. I think we're going to pull a Season 2 trick where we have multiple inputs to the storage system. So, if we just have a hopper line going above this, which we will, a single hopper line can only transfer 9,000 items an hour. But... If you have, like, all of your mob drops and some crops and then, like, blocks, uh, you can have three different inputs. You can have your mob farm input, boom, and then you can have your crop farm input, boom, and then you can have your block input, boom. And then that way you're not clogged up. Essentially treat it like it's three different mini systems in one. And then you don't need to worry about, uh, things... Getting backed up and stuff. Yeah, there's no no H in my name. Because somebody on Xbox 360 in 2015 had my name with a H in it. And I couldn't get the H. <laughs> Alright, yep. Not salty at all. Uh, we'll install the torches from below. Yeah, please don't spam the chat. Thank you very much. I am. Perfect amount. Okay, well that should do it. Are target blocks not functioning? They are, I just don't have target blocks. It doesn't matter which one you use, they're basically the same. Except for pistons, you need the stupid obsidian on the end. Well, that's not a big deal. Uh, right, let's see. I need to get the whole line of hoppers in here. These are the filter hoppers. And then we need the hopper line in here as well. Whoops. Extra whoops. Yeah, if you feel like you're using target blocks, that's great. Uh, they're probably cheaper and easier to get. But you need like a, a farm for it. And I... Do not have one. Where's that hopper at? There it is. Gotta break 20 stairs to find it. <laughs> right, okay. I think that's that done. Uh, please don't spam the chat. You just spam the chat at this point. 
We'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, uh, we need a item filter name. So throw out a random name. It might become the filter item that we use for this. The, like the filler item, you know? I need to buy more redstone. I think rain. No, I think they're just like posting that message. What item are we gonna use? I guess we could use like stone brick or chorus fruit. We got so much chorus. Let's go use chorus. Uh, we got 23 hoppers. That's 23 times 4. 24 to 60, 80. Uh, okay, so we're gonna make two of these. Okay, what kind of name you got for me? Trash Panda, Breb, Burb, uh, Love Pig Go, hello. Pedro, Mac and Cheese, mmm, Dingus. <laughs> Banana Block, <laughs> uh, let's see. Banana Block might be a good one. Shamwow, Billy. Billy could be a good one. Beefsteak, Wisp. I kind of like Trash Panda and I kind of like Banana Block. Carbonated bread. 23 times 4 equals 92. Okay, great. We could just name it that. I'm not going to double check your math. <laughs> it's already 2 a.m. Jeez, go to bed. Uh, We're going to name it Banana Block. Because why not? That's That's a great name. That's from the Curly. Thank you. Banana block. Who would ever who would ever think of such a thing? Oh no, we actually need five times twenty-three. I lied. So that's basically 125. We still we still got enough. Well, it's 125 minus ten, right? Or else my, eh, 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 eh. Math, math on stream. Don't do it. <laughs> Not even once. <laughs> Don't try it, man. It won't end well for you. You look like a fool more than you already do. Been warned. I wish there was a better way to do this. There we go. That doesn't seem too bad. At this art, mm hmm. And it can be clipped. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those Twitch clips. Okay, then. So, all the atom photos are done. We don't actually know what we're gonna be sorting in there right now. We even got like these ones over here that could be used for stuff. Uh, but we will be sorting items into those eventually, TM. So, let's toss away all of these things. Yeah, I didn't think I had enough room for all this. Sunder's Loy! Remember, Sunder's Loy! And... Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Uh, let's get building then, shall we? So that's the storage system expansion. That's gonna be one of the critical parts of this base going forwards. Because now we actually have room to, like, put all of our things. And then we need a bunch of concrete powder. Or... We don't really need to have these laid out. This is a non-sorted chest. AKA junk chest. Do I think I'm funny? No. Absolutely not. No. What's my favorite season? I don't know. Season 5 of Supernatural was pretty good. But so was season 11. I did not see that one before. I should have seen that. Season 5. Yeah. Good season. Oops. Wrong, wrong version. Right block. Wrong version. Oh, we need to get more Deep Slate, too. I forgot about that. Uh, for truly bedrock seasons, 
I'm not sure. I think season three is probably my least. Just because the stupid castle took up all of my time. We didn't get to do anything. Learn my lesson on that one. Don't build a castle. <laughs> and then... Uh, I don't know. It's hard to pin down a favorite for this kind of thing. I'm not sure if there should be concrete right here. Uh, I'll leave it until I know for sure. Is this version lagging on mobile? I mean, that's kind of always the case, though. Mobile's just kind of inherently laggy, unfortunately. Uh, so, yes, question mark? Let's see, where's my deep slate? Uh, not a ton of it. Do I have deep slate in here? Eh, a little bit. Actually, I think that might be enough. What? Be asking some weird questions, man. You still have enough points to buy a ban? That's not allowed. Uh, let's see. We got a mod pool. Did we do that? I don't think we did that. Oh, we gotta do that pool, too. I did that ban in action. We got a lot of quotes we need to add. Right then. Oh, I guess I guess we'll get those added later. Bands were in stock, you'd buy one. Oh, I don't doubt it. Do not doubt it. Kind of glad we only do two of those per stream. <laughs> it's uh, saved me. It saved me on multiple occasions. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we're basically just mirroring the build style of the opposite side of the base. That's why I need to figure all that stuff out first before we started uh, building storage system and stuff. Usually I build storage and then decorate around it, which is exactly what I did over here. But because we decorated this and because the base is so symmetrical, we need to decorate this and then like figure out how we're going to decorate the rest of it and then build the rest of the storage. Because we built that one after building this one without decoration, uh, there was a pretty big chance that the decoration would be uh, super wonky and asymmetrical, which would not be good. So we kind of had to do it in this order. See, I think things through sometimes, or at least I make it appear that I think things through after the fact. <laughs> Apple named Caramel Apple. I can do that. That's good. Sneaking your name in there. I see how it is. <laughs> Shameless. I like it. I still have a hoe on my hotbar. Just because, you know, it's just hanging out. You learn that mobs can pathfind over buttons again? Oh, like the off the edge of a block. That might be fixed in beta, because they they fixed that bug with the uh, mobs not spawning on buttons again. They're pretty quick about that. Out of sea lanterns? I'm out of sea lanterns. This pickaxe really needs to get repaired. Supposedly the new hotfix fixed that? Yeah. Wait, we got coral fans at least. Uh, okay, this is looking good. We need to have our diagonal thingy in here. I 
think it's just like this, isn't it? See, I'm, I'm learning. Now that we're done. And then this is magenta. Yeah, okay. And then we need to have like this thingy right here as well. Diagonal thing on the wall. I can probably build this out of powder. Save the hardened concrete for the ceiling. Where I can, anyway. Uh, right, so that one is like that. So this one is like this. Okay. We need a end rod. Bro is still spamming the same comment. Okay. I warned you. And I actually answered that as well, so, uh, <laughs> That's kind of interesting that bug got re-added, though. Very fascinating. Bugs kind of have a way of doing that on Bedrock Edition. Have you guys noticed? Like, something will get fixed, and then it'll be back a update or two later. Really? Can't say I'm really too surprised, because, uh, you know, why wouldn't they be back? I'm back. <laughs> Wilbur, don't even, don't even try it. I, I don't mess around. Bug rock being bug rock. Yeah. So, like, with the uh, mangrove trees, they have the bug with the leaves not stacking. Do you guys remember that one? Where, like, you harvest it with shears or silk touch or something, and the leaves don't stack together. So, that bug is back in beta. Hopefully, they don't fix that. I don't think they will before it's out, though. Maybe they will. I don't know. Seems like, at this point, they probably have a easy-ish fix for it. Right, is all this correct? All this is right. Uh, is that the right height? Not really. That all goes there. Oops. A block off. <laughs> yeah, the furnace XP glitch has been back and forth like 12 times already. <laughs> I saw that it got fixed again in the betas. Like, it, it, geez. That is our new removed hero, Brian. For real. They have removed that bug so many times now. <laughs> removed in quotes. Uh, oh, right. This needs to go a block higher than all that. Because we need to have sea lanterns right here. And then glass above that. Right. And is that everything? I think we can start flooding it all now. Why are you up there? Come on now. Stuck in the wall. Hey, you don't be trying to break my tools. <laughs> Meanie. Uh, so it should be a magenta on this side, shouldn't it? Yes. All right, and then we need a uh, polished deep sleigh right here, going all the way across. I'll fill that in afterwards, I guess. Oh yeah, same for this side. Right, I don't know how we're gonna do that uh, reduction in height. That is an issue, because for this side, we brought it all the way to the side of this, which I don't think is gonna work. I thought it would be symmetrical, but no, we can't have the ceiling reduce right here. It needs to reduce like on a diagonal right here. Or hmm. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Fix my pickaxe, I know! I'm I'm trying to make you guys paranoid. <laughs> okay then. 
Uh, we're not ready to have this side filled in yet, so I'm not going to worry about that. Anyway, this is what it looks like when it is all decorated. So we've tossed together all of the decoration for this side, and we just kind of need to wet all of the concrete. And luckily, we have a water bucket for that. So we've used powder on the walls and the floor. That way, we don't have to convert it beforehand. And then you just go around and dump dump water on absolutely everything. And uh, that, that saves you a little bit of time, at least. You know, maybe causes some water damage, but that is not my problem. That is the insurance company's problem. And they will be hearing from me very shortly. There we go. Not too shabby. And now it's all pretty much done. We just need to fill in, like, the ceiling and get some of these extra extra glass blocks in place. Easy stuff. Yep, not too bad. Uh, I don't think bundles are going to be included until, like, 1.20. They definitely aren't going to be in 119 from the sounds of it. I missed one. Maybe. Somewhere. Yeah. Probably. Oh, we didn't do the uh, diagonal thing for this side. Yeah, the polished Deep Slate really does look great, doesn't it? It's such a nice block. Deep Slate was, like, the best decision on Mojang's part. It's just like, mmm, delicious block. Uh, that's still the perfect diagonal. We, we already got the marker here for it. Like, literally, this whole thing is the marker, so not worried about that. Uh, you know what? Do we want... Do we want this right here to have a line of deep slate to either side or do we want it to be just kind of raw i guess like this side so if we do it how we did it right there then it would look like that which side do you guys think looks better left or right i think left is pretty good but it could go either way Looks like too much steep slate. I kind of agree. I kind of agree. I think we might still do it though. We can always turn it out later. But yeah, everyone's saying left. <laughs> For sure. Saves us a little bit of concrete. Kind of ties together the whole place as well. And then I think what we need to do is break out this. And then we'll do it on this side as well. Don't know where this is going, but it's going somewhere. Yeah, so all the deep slate is kind of connected from inside to outside. It's all got like a pattern going around. And then uh, it all just kind of works together, you know? And then all the light beams, I guess we're calling them, are all kind of connected as well. So there's that. Uh, we could probably connect these light beams. Uh, uh, not really, actually. I kind of like. I kind of think that should be on its own. We could bring this one around the corner, but then we would want to do that on this side, and that gets really messy because that... 
Right, we need to figure out the ceiling. Yeah, what about the roof? Uh, mm -hmm. No comment. Also, yeah, there's some light beams in the ceiling that uh, maybe could do some deep slate going around them, but I don't know about that. Roof or ceiling? I mean, yes. Oh, right. Then we need deep slate for all this, too. Just a little edging. Just to uh, give us some detail. Contrast, so it's not just like concrete on concrete on concrete on concrete. Because <laughs> otherwise it gets really flat. That is kind of the issue with these ceilings. They're very flat. Calcite. Calcite could maybe be good in certain areas. We also have a buttload of quartz as well. So that can maybe be good in certain areas too. Uh, it just kind of depends on what we want to do. I don't think up here it's going to work. Because all of this is very clean and pristine. Kind of futuristic. Which is, which is precisely what I'm going for. It would be really nice if we had just reach... Yeah, I do not know how we're going to do this wall transition or how we're going to do any of this. This is going to be real awkward. Hmm. <laughs> There's no way to do it without it looking awkward. A flat ceiling is good. No one likes a popcorn ceiling. I mean, sometimes it looks really good. It depends on how you decorate it. Uh, Lucky Dragon and Ring Slayer, along with Cool Car and Yin Yang, uh, Judge and OQ... Uh, Icris and Gu, Maximo, Robot, and a couple others. Thank you so much for the follows. Welcome into the community, everybody. Hopefully you're doing great. Future silent problem. Perhaps. Like a Thursday silent problem. Hmm. We're also out of concrete. Yeah, you know what? I think a future silent problem might just be in order. <laughs> How would you fix this? If this was your problem, how would you fix it? Because we got a high ceiling on this side because tall storage. And then we got a low ceiling on this side because low storage. We, we lowered it down on this side like this. And this worked out okay. Not great, but okay. Okay. We might just have to make it look like the other side. Concrete slab. That would be great. Yeah, if we made it like the other side, then that would be great. Um, I don't know if we can do a diagonal transition. It would have to be above this, I believe. This would have to be our diagonal transition. That's the only spot it would look at all decent. And then we'd have to come down. Like this. And then we could continue on. As the roof layer right here. Obviously not out of deep slate. I'm just out of concrete. So I can't that out of that. Like that could that could maybe do maybe do it. Put in some seed lanterns and some glass. Put in a pipe to make it look like a feature. <laughs> some people do that. I mean we could also do that on this side as well. We just need to lower parts of the ceiling. But then you run into issues where like how do you, how do you make this work, you know? Cause we don't 
have that installed right here. Another end rod. You don't mind the deep slant on the vertical distance? I mean, it's deep slate. It's, it's hard for it to look bad, you know? So there's that. Uh, hmm. It's not terrible. Like, the worst thing I've ever seen. I mean, it's up there. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely up there is the worst thing I've ever seen. But it's not like, you know, gold medal. It's like, Bronze, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'm using Olympic ratings for worst things I've ever seen. <laughs> this is how I used to convert concrete. It's very slow, though. Especially when you destroy the water source like that. That's like my legacy console way of converting concrete. Do I like any other games besides Minecraft? I'm oh wow, look at this pickaxe. Whew. We <laughs> we nearly broke pick Ashley. Okay, we're taking that off the hot bar. Uh, I do. I've been recently into Halo Infinite quite a bit. Halo Infinite's pretty, pretty epic. <laughs> Bio drones just like, ah! <laughs> I don't know how I mine so fast. We got haste 2 and efficiency 5 now the right, so pretty good. Also, just being on a mouse helps a lot. Uh, yeah, Halo Infinite multiplayer is actually pretty, pretty nice. I do like my shooter games. I was really nice and have been, like, big into, uh, Crisis 3. Multiplayer on that's pretty, pretty good. And then Halo multiplayer is also pretty great as well. So, I do like the shooter games. They, they, they shooty, shooty, bang, bang. I don't like Fortnite and Battle Royale and stuff because it's just so slow. Like, you get into a game, and then you gotta drop down, and find weapons, and all that stuff, and then you just die. It's, there's very little actual combat. It's just pain, and suffering, and slow. Uh, but with, like, Halo, like, you spawn in, you already got weapons, there's weapons around the map, you go, go kill people, you die, 15 second respawn, objectives, it's great. It's good stuff. I don't know if there's going to be a Tuesday stream, actually, because that's when the Halo update drops. <laughs> Season 2 is uh, coming out for Halo Infinite. It's like, mm, new maps and new modes. It might be pretty good, actually. Does it play Crisis? I think my new computer would definitely crush Crisis. If it can turn on RTX. I think it just crashed. Uh, well, oop. can you hear me now? I think everything just crashed. Hello, computer. Can you guys hear me? Put some pizzas in the chat. I think my stream lab's broke. What are you doing? Pan of macaroni and cheese. It doesn't show me talk. You can hear me? Okay. You're not seeing anything in game though, are you? Okay, well I turned on RTX and uh, that kind of just froze everything. <laughs> yeah, my computer can handle crisis crashes playing Minecraft. <laughs> Basically, don't expect a Tuesday stream. I'm definitely playing some Halo on Tuesday. Uh, I do not know at one time I'm playing some Halo on Tuesday. Ridiculous. Anyway, this seems like a pretty good time to uh, wrap things up. Thank you to our last minute followers, Duck, for being an amazing person. Hopefully, you guys have had a great time tonight. I will see you on the Tuesday stream, maybe, if there's no... If there's no extreme Haloage. <laughs> anyway, if you guys did enjoy the stream, then of course consider dropping a follow, a follow, as it helps out the channel a ton, and it'll make sure that you uh, don't miss future live streams. You can also join our Discord community. 
and that way you can get notifications and just hang out with us and join our fan servers all that good stuff links to everything are in the chat i also uploaded a new video on youtube today so you can check that out if you feel like it and otherwise we're going to end by raiding someone as we always do nobody's streaming from truly bedrock uh we got nobody to raid except marine mammals and joe hill joe hill joe hill is not pl singular it's plural joe hills it sounds weird to say joe hill joe hill <laughs> it's like joe mama anyway i'll see you guys over there if you guys know what's up then you know to drop some follows onto the channel if you enjoy their content so you can see more of their streams maybe tell them where you came from with some raid pegos or some hashtag silence and otherwise i'll see you over there and in his stream and in the next one and then there was silence <laughs>